Yo, what's the this? It's Sledger, and today we're reacting to Apex Legends Mobile Season 2. I have to say, this season's going to be pretty good, and sorry about that, there were a few issues going on I had to deal with. Accidentally deleted one of my YouTube videos, so I was fixing that, and should be fixed now. I did re-upload the Apex reaction. That was the problem. That's why in the stream there. Now let's go through the battle pass again. Like I said, I always recommend getting premium battle pass plus. I think it's pretty decent, and now we'll see. Is this battle pass worth it? If you do get Premium Battle Pass Plus, and I recommend getting Premium Battle Pass Plus usually for everything because you do get some bonuses with it. However, I'm not sure if you know, all this content is worth it. Snow Prince, really like that. Cold Coverage, really like that. And Tier 50, this is really cool. Ice Climber and Evening Snow, pretty cool. Nice weapon customization there. And you're probably wondering, if you get to level 25, can you get a level for free? Answer is, yes, all you have to do is get there for the battle pass. And level 25, you should get enough Loba shards. You might even get it before if you get Green Battle Pass. Plus, because you would get 10 tier boosts. And that would not be level 25, however... Let's see if there is 10 of those before level 25. So we have 2, 4, 6, 8, 10. No, so level 25 is when you get it. That is when you can officially get low before free. And that's even if you don't own premium battle pass. So that's pretty cool. You can get that even if you don't own premium battle pass plus. So you can get level 4 free, you just have to get to level 25 battle pass. That's pretty cool. You can get level 4 free, and now we'll check out Loba's abilities in Apex Legends Mobile. And the diamond currency. In Apex Legends Mobile Season 1.5 slash Season 2. It's kind of confusing, it's kind of Season 1.5, however, it's somewhat... Season 2 since there's a new battle pass, but there's no new loading screen saying this is season 2. It says it's season like 1. It's kind of interesting. Possibly, possibly not. I think it is season 2 though. We'll just have to change the season banner. I think we'll do that on June 21st since that's when the Loba Soray event comes out. I have to say, Loba looks like a pretty good legend in Apex Legends and Mobile. I think the customization here looks pretty good and really showcases Loba's character. How she looked in Apex Legends on PC and consoles. That's pretty cool. And now we're going to showcase her abilities in Apex Legends Mobile. And land at the Climatizer. Like I said before, this thing just has snow and doesn't really do anything. It's supposed to do all ice damage, but it doesn't do that. It just kind of annoys the player. But at times, you can have like some crazy snow fights here and kind of have like the beginning of it. Star Trek Strange New Worlds. Not fight scene, but it is on a snowy planet. And kind of recreate that scene. However, have it in a way that's like a fight scene. That's pretty cool. I can kind of recreate that. If anyone's wondering about the Batman outro like Legend, probably by now I expected to see this. Do not worry when there's a new Batman video, as when I'll use that when I have a new Batman video coming out. I think that could be about a month. It depends on when there's new Batman news. And I plan on probably covering Gotham Knights. I'm not 100% sure about that. Feel free to let me know if you legends would like to see that. And I absolutely will be making more Batman content, though. I am a huge fan of Batman, and I absolutely will be covering Batman. Mm. 
Climatizer, let's see. Does it really do anything? Now we'll check out the black market feature. And I really like the black market feature. It really feels like it is the same from Apex Legends on console. But still, it's pretty cool to see that. And it even has iconic lines like setting up shop. And then we can travel with the jump drive there and dimensional rift, which is pretty cool to see the back. It's what she calls her dimensional rift. She calls it the jump drive. And it's pretty cool to see that back. That's one of my favorite things from Loba. And his abilities. And if you unlock Loba, you have access to a perk tree, which we'll check out after this match. Unlock some customization through that. And there's an exclusive currency called Diamonds, which you unlock through playing... the game once you find purple supply bins. My ultimate's charged and ready to go. Just trying to make this sound better there. Okay. Let's try and get some of that currency. And let's see. It's, it's a pretty cool currency. And let's see, can this enemy have that currency? Because you can get currency through defeating enemies. However, it is pretty rare to see it through the enemy. However, I have noticed happens more towards the middle of the match. I'm saying the middle now instead of end, because originally I thought it was the end, but I saw it more during the middle. I feel like it's actually somewhat common to see that. You don't even need to play one entire match to get some currency. However, you lose about, let's say, 100 of that if you die and then. You have 200 of that if you live plus 100 and plus 50, so you have 350. And then if you did pretty good, there'd be like an XP multiplier, which would translate to some diamond point currency here, which would probably be around 20, so 370, which I'd say is decent. And 370 diamond currency, which is pretty good. And you can't earn a lot of the diamond points pretty fast. I earned about. 1,200 in about two hour time. It's because I got three wins in about two hours. And then I got the other 700 points through loot boxes and the other through collecting through the bins, supply bins, and special marked frosted supply bins. And then also through an enemy's death box, which you can get those customization options, customization diamonds for the customization options through death boxes. However, it's not the most effective way, but towards the middle of the match, it can certainly be an effective way. And so you can unlock the diamonds, and we'll showcase the diamond currency after this match. The stream lasts probably about an hour or so more. Let's see what we have over here. Spotted one. Close. Good. Placing gas trap. Independent variable added. Unless that bill is flashing up. Did it do that with the other legend? Possibly so. Maybe that's a new feature. Or that could be something that's exclusive to Lobo's abilities. Possibly it does that. Might be a glitch there. Not sure. 
I think about this being season one, that might be a glitch, so I might count that as a glitch. I'm not 100% sure there. We'll have to see. But I'm pretty sure that could be a glitch. We'll have to see. I'm saying that because if we don't see the thing, say, season two by the end of the video, slash live stream, by the end of the day, I'd have to say that, yes, absolutely. It was probably on purpose, and we'll see that change June 21st with the Soray event, or we won't see it change, and this is technically season 1.5, that's one possibility, and the other is, this is a glitch, and we will absolutely see the... Season 2 banner come out in a few hours from now. Because that could be when the glitch is fixed. Actually, probably won't be an hour from now. Because that's usually the update time for Apex Legends mobile. Maybe about 30 minutes from now, I think. So, that would have to mean that we should possibly see it in 30 minutes from now. We'll have to see. I think it's a possibility. Okay, let's see, can my teammate Recharge survive this boss again? That'd be pretty cool. After this, we'll showcase the seasonal store. Respawn beacon here. And it's possible my teammate can respawn me, so that'd be pretty cool. Oh boy! I don't think my teammate survived there. And you're going to notice that a little bit throughout this video. Yes, there is a very reoccurring glitch with Season 2. Or Cold Snap. It's not exactly Season 2. It's kind of Season 1.5 slash Season 1.5. I mean, there's a levitating glitch where you just, like, fly. And you can just fly all you want it's 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 kind of crazy and really funny and i've seen it happen like six times in two hours so it's really common and once you see it you're probably like is this maybe you know something weird going on yes it's absolutely glitching i think that's what it is and then we have the currency here i have about 1315 of free currency you get this through unlocking the supply bins in through death box and through playing the match and doing well i think you do get a little or you might have to find it through supply bin and then playing the match doing well you would get a little you're going to see loba's kind of jump pack and then loba's staff there and customization blue and i believe with like some I believe that could be a wolf kind of with a crown there if we see that right there neat and then a hollow spray arctic wolf i'd like this to be an emblem but still really cool hollow spray and i might recommend getting that however the price here three thousand that's epic pretty decent nine thousand for this that's a little pricey and then ten thousand that's pretty pricey if you ask me ten thousand for this caustic skin so that's pretty pricey but the currency now is pretty easy to unlock and this season will last until july 12th which is actually a while and would make me believe this is not season 1.5 this is season two that's what it makes me believe i think that's the case and they'll just have to change it to season two logo and now we're gonna try and play as bloodhound because i believe i have that skin equipped as bloodhound and showcase that customization options because it's pretty cool i'd say the battle pass is worth it this season i think it's better than the first battle pass however there were like i said another stream where it did glitch out a few well it seems like everybody wants bloodhound here so i don't think i'm getting bloodhound but i am gonna be getting loba cool we'll showcase some abilities there for loba some more abilities which is pretty cool but there were a few things I'd like to see change with the Battle Pass. And then we get to see Loba's select animation. Really cool. Looks pretty cool. Like that a lot. And 
basically the same one from Apex Legends on PC and console. But we get to see basically something very weird. 800 credits, which I believe the Battle Pass is 700, so we do get credits back there. But if we get Proving Pass Plus, we don't get all the credits back, and not even a thousand, we get 800. So it is not the best deal when it comes to credits, but when it comes to everything else, it is a pretty good deal for customization options like skins and everything like that. It's decent. But if you're looking for a credit value back, it's not the best. However, it's not bad since they have 800 credits back. And I think that is pretty good. And you can get some of your credit worth back. I believe probably over half and maybe even a little more than half. If it's 756, I believe to get the first version, you would get all your credits back for the first premium pass, but you wouldn't for premium pass plus, which I'd like to see that maybe you get all your credits back for a premium pass plus which would be around 1786 credits but still it'd be pretty cool to see all those credits back because that would really feel like buying premium pass plus is worth it and worth the uh, apex coins or syndicate coins in apex legends mobile i'm always mixing up this game we heard it in the last stream and i guess we're here to get today in this stream and this sounds crazy how I keep on mixing up these Apex Legends and Apex Mobile, but I'm doing it somewhat. But I think it's a pretty good season, and I enjoyed the game. And like I said, I really did enjoy Apex Legends Mobile when it did release. I almost said Apex Legends again, and I'm going to say Mobile here. But... Yeah, absolutely. There is a lot of things in this season that are really piquing my interest. There's a lot of free content too. If you don't want that battle pass, absolutely. There's a lot of free content to get. Even if you don't want the battle pass necessarily, there's a lot of free content to get in customization options and in some options that I think is really neat. I mean, let's say you want Lobo for free. You can't get her, you just need to get, just like Fate, to level 25. I found this out through, I believe, Gaming Merchants video. Or, there's another YouTuber who made some YouTube shorts, I think. His YouTube short on Gaming Merchants channel or some other Apex Legends YouTube channel. Full credit to that YouTuber for finding that out. I think it was pretty cool and really helpful. Like, if you don't want the Battle Pass this season, hey, you can get the Legends still for free, and that's really cool. There we go. First glitch of the season. It took a little while to load in, but we did get the Diamond Currency. And a few seconds ago, we got to see a finisher. We're going to see if she does around half of the damage there. And 75 damage for about your full shield to go away. However, if you want to see your full shield here, that'd be around 100 damage. So it's not the best, but if you use a few of them at a time, which you can get a lot of those, it can be decent. There's something weird I found is you can actually reload the wingman. Like, well, what we saw a few seconds ago, it's actually pretty rare and you don't see it too much, but what we did see there was kind of an R99 reload. It's like you're about to... Reload door 99. That could be how it happens, actually. Reloading. And then... Okay, no. So that's just super rare. I need shield cells. But I think you need the R99 to have that glitch happen. So I have that now, so let's see if that glitch happens. And I do think there'll be a few points taken off for these glitches. However, the season is really good and maybe more solid than season... One season 1.5 or cold snap. I'm just gonna call it cold snap. We run out. I want to get confused with like season two and whatever, but I put season two in the tags of the video. I did recently just re release because I said there was a few issues with that and fix that. I think I accidentally deleted the video. Well, we're making live stream. I think I accidentally deleted the video, so I had to remake it. So I took a few minutes for the live stream to start back up again. 
And I have to say that in the video, I do say season two because it is season two and season 1.5 at the same time because they're not exactly labeling seasons, but most people are calling this season two since this is basically season two, but they're just saying Colds and Admin's got like a new name to it and it doesn't exactly have a season label, which we've seen Call of Duty doing lately. And some other games have been doing it a lot more lately. Probably Apex Legends being the latest. And then, let's see, because Apex on console just says season. But Apex on mobile, sorry, just say like names and not have seasons there. We've seen this happen a lot, and I believe the game would be. Maybe like Fortnite with not calling it like season 15, and it's like chapter 3. Yeah, yeah, chapter 3. Season like three, so that's why like not exactly labeling the season after it's like really season thirty three, but like chapter three, season three now to not get confused or anything. That's kind of neat, I guess. And I have to say that it's pretty neat to me how the kill leader animation looks, just how similar it looks to. Apex Legends kill leader animation from Apex Legends PC and console. I didn't really talk about that last time when I was streaming Apex Legends when it did release, but I really like that. Pretty cool to see this type of similarities between Apex Mobile and Apex PC and console. I did point out that Loba's graphics and Reloading. graphics really did look how they looked like in Apex Legends Mobile Season 1 and how they looked on PC and console in my reaction video to Apex Legends Cold Snap Season 1.5 or 2. And I really did just talk about how good the graphics look because to me, the graphics do look really good for a mobile game. Now let's use the black market feature and can we get those diamonds over there? So I'm actually gonna recall the shop and we should have it all the way back there actually it is not which i believe is a little bit different than what we would see on apex console maybe i'm wrong there though and that does not happen and does not refill the ability right away Recharging my shield. Okay. Trying to defeat the enemies and see can they have any of the currency. Because we did see that a little bit in last live stream. If you were watching that. I did delete that since for a few glitches there. Towards the very, very, very end, when it's about to end it, there was a glitch that made the audio weird and I didn't want to keep that as like a ending part there. Okay, there's some time to curse up here. We press the grab animation. It's pretty funny having that animation as Lobo since she is described as Master Thief. I want to just have a good ending on the stream, so that's why I delete that. So I think this is about to end it, but Recharging my shield. I decided that I was going to end it, and then there was a glitch, and that's why stream got deleted. I just want to make the most high quality streams I can. That's why I think it was one of And, I mean, I'm trying to explain this here, but it's a little hard. It's a few enemies here, but we have the ultimate power of the wingman. 
seem like it's one of the best weapons in the game. I mean, honestly, it's pretty good. Not good, but I'm not dead here. But, cool. Glad I'm not dead. And ultimate power of staying in this building. Pretty good power for now. And he's right over here. But this thing is awesome. Yep, there are my grenade. Healing treasure is from Look at that. Really good. Reloading. And the thing I love about Apex and Apex Mobile, you can just jump over the area really well. That is a really easy area to get out of if you're trying to run from an enemy. Just traverse the map and go over this area. And you should be able to get a better position on the enemy and defeat the enemy. I think I have multiple. Here he's trying to one more finish there. So we can showcase that. Now, Loba's finishing move lasts a while because she has to laugh at the enemy. That's how it ends. It's kind of funny. Really showcases Loba's funny personality and some funny humor Loba can have. And so he has like a Loba personality from the Apex. Sniper stock here, level three. Games and also, Recharging and that's like shields. the Apex story. Their stories from that lens and stuff, but really showcases Loba from like Apex PC and console. It's gonna be confusing saying those words for a while. PC and console and mobile. Like this is the mobile version. That's a PC and console. Uh, it could get a little confusing. Still, really enjoy Apex Legends and mobile. Also enjoy. Watching the Lifeline stories from Outland Cinematic it was pretty good. If you've not watched, I highly recommend it. It's worth a watch, in my opinion. And I recommend watching it if you're a fan of the stories from the Outlands videos on Apex Legends YouTube channel. If you enjoy the Apex story and stories from the Outlands story, I'd recommend watching it. It's pretty good. Here we go. We got some diamond currency here. Showcase the diamond credit ability i mean out of ability the current there's actually a funny line mirage says if you play as him and he says it's one of those get rich schemes so it seems like mirage has been a pretty funny comedian here this is a free currency you get through playing the game thankfully it isn't one of those and it's a fun Currency you can get just from playing the game, and I don't know what this team was thinking. They're probably not gonna win this. No. He's gonna try and defeat the last enemy. Oh, he's trying to do a finishing move here, and I think. Okay, that person didn't have a gold shield. What is, what is my teammate doing? Help me! Thank you, man. Thank you. Uh, what? Musketeers. We are inside the ring. Dude, I need help. Thanks, man. What? What? This guy had to defeat the enemy first? Oh, man, this guy really enjoys defeating the enemy, too. In my opinion, I'd say that can actually be smarter, and I'd say that might be sure I would use sometimes too. Smarter to defeat the enemy first in some scenarios to clear the situation. I'd say that's pretty good. And then we see the levitating glitch again. Yeah. Something that has been occurring a lot lately. You can fly in Apex Legends a little above the ground. You can still see the player, but... Certainly is a glitch and it's pretty funny. And yeah, that is a glitch and totally I would recommend Apex fixes that soon, which I think they will, and I'm just gonna have to say that that is a really funny glitch and when you see it, it is pretty funny. I also have to say that yes, 
few points will be taken off for that, but not too many points here. We're just going to take off about, let's see, it's actually kind of a glitch I've seen a lot, like, maybe that's what he's saying, like, the flying issues are doing in the chat. I'm going to have to say, yeah, maybe, one and a half points, this is season one and a half, no coincidence there, but, not one and a half points, I think two points, because I've seen this glitch, like, seven times now. In the past two hours, this is crazy. And it's a pretty funny glitch, though. And I'd say, yeah, it is a huge glitch. And real quick, though, we're going to unlock some Loba customization. In my way. This is in glitch right here. This is cool. That's some pretty cool customization. And try and play as Bloodhound and check out the new customization. And then check out the new Devotion customization. Because there is a Legendary Devotion skin. Which is pretty cool. And I feel sad. That was the one skin I did not get from the Battle Pass of Season 1 or that Rare Mirage skin. Because I did not reach that. I reached level 45. I reached level 45 of the Battle Pass. I tried to reach 50, but I didn't know it was going to reset a few hours before the season started. A few hours, like three hours before. I wanted to stream today because this felt like a complete data stream this felt like I had a lot more time and it was very convenient day to stream oh saw a little glitch there I think I'm taking off one point there it's a small glitch right then. but I thought it'd be a better day to stream because there's a lot more stuff available now and yesterday there wasn't really too much stuff available and they added all the complete stuff now and maybe I'll stream in the future when the season comes out and then when the battle pass comes out which is a few hour difference in the time which I might do that if you guys want to see that like the legend stream first of the new legend and then battle pass stream later on possibly I might do both at the same time or I might do it the day after and cover the whole entire complete season with like the new map chains too. It'll be a new event for Loba coming out soon, which I think is going to be pretty cool. And now we're going to show off the Bloodhound new customization here. Which I have to say looks pretty futuristic with that feature there. And also pretty snowy. It has like a snowy vibe here. I just think it's so funny because it is summer, and this season's themed after snow. I think it was on purpose, just to kind of make a funny joke. But it's a pretty good season. Okay. I'd say the skin's decent. It actually looks more like a military type of skin. I actually kind of like that. So if you like your type of Battlefield skin, you might like that. Attention. Is now active. Don't be too long of a stream here. I think we're gonna finish the match and then show off a little bit more customization. Show off this real quick. And if need be, there might be a part two. But I think the plan is maybe about a. 30 minutes more to the shrink or something. It's kind of like a thermite, but it deals ice damage. Just during that showcase, the damage that deals, which can be decent at times. Then if you go to the purple area, you can get the supply bins. So I'd say are pretty decent. Yeah. Then we'll show off the devotion skin. After this, check out Loba's perk tree a little more, and then the stream one. So it wasn't a long stream today, and so far I'd say it's like a, I don't know, maybe a 90, it would be ultimate ledger rank, so it's like 95%, it could be an ultimate ledger rank, possible, but there's a lot of glitches here, so I think it's actually 93%, I don't think it's anywhere shy of a ledger rank. But it absolutely, I don't see, is going to Ultimate Legend rank 
at least for now, this mid-season slash kind of season two update. But it's really good, and I don't think it's as good as last season's update, which originally I did, but then I remembered, oh boy, there were a few glitches that I didn't really talk about, and yeah, there were a lot of glitches, but I'd say that those glitches aren't two occurring, and a few of them do happen, and they're pretty funny, and I do kind of enjoy the glitches, but as far as the glitches go, I have witnessed, there are now about, I believe, two, unless we count the season one thing, because it's kind of not season one, we'll see on June 21st when that event comes out, because technically, that event will determine, was this a glitch, and will that change to season two, or are they doing that on purpose? That's kind of the timing of that. I wouldn't really call that a glitch. I'd call that maybe on purpose timing or something. Or are they going to say, no, it's not really when season two cold snap starts and this is just something we're keeping and it's kind of a season 1.5 update? Or did they kind of forget to change it? If it pledges, then I'd kind of say maybe it is a glitch. We'll have to see. I don't think that's a glitch, though. So technically, there's two glitches. One glitch that we've seen a few times, the levitating glitch, I think we saw it two times on this stream, I think maybe even two times, maybe once, but I think two times. In total, either two or three times if you count the other stream. And yeah, I think absolutely a levitating glitch, you can fly all you want. Is a reoccurring glitch I've seen now like eight times or seven times, and it is funny. It is really a funny glitch, and I kind of hope they leave it in there. Yes, it is a glitch, and points will be taken off, but we'll just take off two points. And a glitch with one point taken off was the Bloodhound's left skin. Kind of took a while for that to load up there. So I'd have to say that absolutely that was a glitch. We're actually going to end off this match here so we can showcase the customization. And maybe give some tips and tricks on how to unlock the diamond currency. Okay then. This is how the new Bloodhound skin looks. Just call it. So even if you leak you do get some diamond currency. That's pretty cool. Today is mine. Snow Prince. Really like it a lot. Looks very military and futuristic, and it's kind of a neat combination there. I like it a lot. And then for my devotion skin, I have cold coverage. Really like the blue. Dan, oh, kind of animated. A little right there. And kind of sand type of Star Wars stuff going on there, right there, somewhat, I know I had to bring a Star Wars reference in here, but come on, it kind of looks like Star Wars to me when it comes to some of that type of stuff we saw in that weapon, kind of looks like a Tatooine type of sand coating, and also like a thing we see in Crossfire X. And I really like the seasonal shop. It's really cool. We get to see new seasonal shops in 28 days from now that refreshes, which I believe you have 28 days to complete the new season, which should be just shy of a month. So not too bad. And if you count the rest of June, technically it's the rest of June. So not exactly month, but when it comes to, if you want to count that and kind of say that was a month and then there'd be a few extra days so kind of a month but not really so i'd say not really the biggest time period but 28 days is fine i'd say it's not a big deal here and we'll just watch the videos for these legends here the animations winter gilly pretty cool that's legendary skin it's not like a crazy like Ooh, but that is that is a ultra rare skin not a legendary it's even above that ice climber nice and this is epic i don't think there's a video there for caustics 
frozen specimen. And then snow prints. Watch that one more time. It's pretty nice. Ooh, I like how it just puts that knife away like that and then like stands up. That's kind of a bloodhound thing to do there with like bloodhound's iconic thing is like sharpening his blade and then just puts it away and then stands up and then calls Arthur his bird. Pretty cool. Or bloodhound's bird. Pretty nice to see Arthur. Nice. And Loba. I don't want to kill you. But you're in my way. Leave. Let me see. A new badge, yes. You get that through Let me see how you get that. I don't actually. want to kill you, but you're in my way. Lobo Legend Mastery. And the other things you get through Lobo Legend kill Mastery you, too. But you're in my way. Just by leveling up. Muaha. It's pretty funny. Oh, Mura. So Loba is basically being toxic there. Pretty funny. So I said Muhaha, but no, I said Mua. So. Yeah, she's being toxic. When it comes to what she's doing there. Maybe. Maybe not exactly. It depends on if Loba's just kind of like flexing because Loba kind of does it. But yeah, I think she's doing that to one of her down opponents that's pretty funny loba obtained from legend loba matchery loba has a iconic pistol there pretty cool and loba avatar very nice i believe loba was introduced in season five it happens to be season 1.5 wow so in a sense kind of ironic but interesting hmm yeah, I know. I'm wondering, hmm, is it season two? I don't know. We'll have to see. Arm. Okay. With the right iconic pistol there. So that's pretty nice when it comes to the references to season five. Apex Legends Mobile and Sword Turn Out. 